Vitalik Buterin, who is the uh, founder of Ethereum and a math genius and uh, very success. It's a very successful cryptocurrency. He's the most visible person, the, the guy Satoshi with Bitcoin, he's disappeared. So Vitalik is <laughs> the face of it. But anyway, he was looking for help on COVID. So he called me, I'm like, look, if I could have done any help on COVID, I would have dropped any, everything in early 2020. Mm. And he's like, no, I think you can do it. So it just started talking to him like 10 o'clock Friday nights, my time zone. I don't know where he was. And you know, he'd ask these really good questions. So I'd end up spending the weekend thinking about it, write a few pages. And it just continued where we realized we should take the company open source and maybe we could help with COVID and long COVID and many other diseases. The disease is accelerated by COVID. Hmm. You look at some of the early data that has come in, like a study of 54,000 veterans. It's uh, it's uh, amazing. The, the risk of neurodegenerative disease doubles if you've had long COVID. Uh, the risk of heart failure goes up 173%, stroke 164%, et cetera, et cetera. And also we think we can help with long COVID because we can see blood flow. If mm -hmm. you drop COVID into a vial of blood, you get these microclots. Those are probably not, since they're 10 to 100 microns in size, they're not making it through the capillaries. Again, I'm just a physicist, but it seems to make sense to me. There's an issue there. So at any rate, so we decided um, to open source the company and we took a $50 million- so you decided to, I mean, it's very important here. This is, a, this is a going open source with your fundamental technology. That right. You all 68 of our patents, um, all of our software, all of our hardware, um, open source, AGPL. So it, it, it continues open source. And what I think that does is break this 600, and, this is $658 million is the average capitalized cost to get a new device, just a regulatory approval in the US as averaged over every single one that's done it in the last 30 years, but in 2024 dollars. It's staggering. And what's really interesting here is that 85% of that cost is actually the device development. It's not the trials. If you take that, there's another 7% if you share safety data. But if you can create a platform, a low cost platform that we could so we had those carts a year ago. We've now reduced them to this size and cost. Those carts were 100 to half a million dollars. These are $10,000 going to $1,000. People can buy them. Open source is a distribution model, but it's a trust model. Yes. So, so we have everybody, lots and lots of people buying these things for R&D to get their regulatory approval. The regulatory approval become like apps on an Android phone. So you know, the, the, those companies can make some money on it, but everybody keeps everybody honest. Will they make any money? Like, guess what? Consumer electronics and, and, and technology make money. Like literally 20 years ago, the top five companies in the world were oil and gas. They're now tech, the Magnificent Seven, you know, like we can make money on it, but why not like make it up on volume and save more lives for less money? So Vitalik it's says, obvious. listen, if you open source this, I will give you $50 million. Essentially, Although there was a lot more discussion of how we could help in COVID and other things. And it was a long discussion. Mm -hmm. it, it was fantastic. But he used Shibu Inu coin. That's okay. super key. Didn't sell any Ethereum. He just, people had gifted when you're sort of a uh, famous crypto. He had gotten it and he wanted to use it for his charities. We're not a charity, but we are open sourcing all of our technology. So, but I... You know, I think like one of the reasons one laptop per child couldn't succeed is we had no way to make money because we we sold it at cost. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't sustain where if we just added an extra ten dollars, that could have solved it, too. But I think a for profit entity that's open source is maybe a better solution. And I wanted to try that. 